بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء وسيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Welcome to Grade Nine from a Tamiz Model School. Dear students, today we are going to study page thirty and thirty one in student book. Okay. Today we have two grammatical rules. Okay. In page thirty and thirty one. Please. Focus with me. Now, look at here in page 30. We have the first exercise, grammar, in context here. As you see, relative clauses. Relative clauses, who, which, whose. Okay? Number one, who is used for people. So, we used who for people. While, which is used for things or animals and whose is used for possession okay so again three related clauses in this page who which whose who is used for people but which is used for things or animals and whose is used for Possessions for possessions. Okay, let's read the examples to learn more about this grammatical rule. Okay, number one, this car is old, this car works well. Okay, so how we can use the relative clues with it? The answer this car, comma which is old works well okay here's correct okay answer this car comma this is comma then the relative clues which which refer which indicate to thing or animal right is old works well next example the man arrived late he had an accident okay so how we can use relative clues with this example or how how we can join it with a relative clause the answer here the man then comma who because who used for people right arrived late then comma had an accident okay example number three the man left quickly the man's car is red okay this is for possession this is for possession here we can use with it whose the answer here the man then comma whose car is red left quickly okay now let's Check our understanding for this rule with this exercise in student book. Join the following sentences using who or which. So we are going to use who or which in these examples. Number one. Let's read them one by one here. Okay, number one. The man was a volunteer. He put out the fire with the rest of firemen okay so the correct answer here the man comma this is the comma okay the man comma who was a volunteer then comma after that complete the sentence put out the fire with the rest of firemen with the rest of firemen okay Number two, the charity is purely medical. It operates in developing countries. Okay, so here the answer should be the charity, comma, which is purely medical, comma, 
operates in developing countries okay number three the campaign's name is hope the campaign gives out food supplies okay so here we can join it by whose for possession okay the campaign whose name is hope gives out food supplies okay now after we cover the grammatical rule relative clause let's go on another skill speaking one exercise number two in the same page page 30 in groups choose the three most important points needed to give a speech so here look look at me here okay as you see this is a speaking activity before we go to speaking activity let's come back to these uh, words here good memory loud voice charisma okay expressive face confidence acting belief smiling body language eye contact okay now here while speaking activity this is a speaking activity let's read it read it together on the occasion of his highness the emir's honoring honoring as humanitarian leader you have been asked to give a speech about humanitarian work in kuwait okay discuss these ideas with your group before you start making your speech okay let's discuss these ideas with each other now the first one how does the award inspire you to do more for your community okay how does the award inspire you to do more for your community so try to think to find answer okay respond for this question next one what type of humanitarian work is there in kuwait what type of it okay next one which charities do you know look at the charities here okay international islamic charity organization right and etc and naja khairia how can you support how can you support charities how can you support charities here okay by money right is there any any voluntary work in your school so think about these questions and try to find answers for them tips for making a speech so you should follow these tips talk about what you know first one you should talk you should speak organize you should be organized every speech should have an introduction body and a conclusion tell stories how can you tell stories avoid words like will and um vary your tune volume and speed smile at the audience okay now next page page 31 and this is the important thing here grammatical the second grammatical rule if conditional type 2 if conditional type 2 okay if it's used to talk about hypothetical situations that are unlikely to happen but possible okay so if here conditional type 2 it's a rule used to talk about high hypothetical situations that are unlikely to happen but possible okay so here the rule we should use if then past tense 
the second form of the verb in the second sentence here comma okay we should separate it with a comma then in the second sentence we should use with then verb in the infinitive form okay infinitive form the base form of the verb right so let's read these examples to learn more about this whole number one if i were you i wouldn't eat so much junk food so look at here after i if i i used where always use where okay if i were you i wouldn't eat so much junk food so here is if then past tense here the second form of the sentence with in the negative form wouldn't with positive negative here wouldn't then the infinitive form of the verb eat okay number two if the team trained more they would win the match okay two sentences joined by if conditional to because here the verb in past tense here is with after with the infinitive verb okay the third example in a negative form look at here if they didn't finish on time they didn't finish on time look at here negative form okay the second section of the sentence wouldn't or would not pay them if they didn't if they didn't finish on time i wouldn't pay them okay that's in the positive and the negative form of the second rule if conditional title let's check our understanding on this exercise in page 31 complete the sentences using the correct form of the verbs okay number one if i here they gave me b the base form b of the verb so i should use here past tense second form of the verb okay so what's the second for or the past verb from b and we say pay attention to this rule after i here we and uh, uh, if we have the rule f we should use here where right the first one if i were manal if i were you if i were khalid if i were ali right if I wear Manal, I happy to get an award. Here, feel the verb, the verb here, feel. So I should write here, would, then the infinitive form of the verb feel, right? So here, would feel. So my sentence now, if I wear Manal, I would feel happy. To get an award okay number two if i be here if i be here so here be the same thing i with if and i we should use where okay so if i wear here i my money to charity so the verb here donate donate okay so here we should write in the second section here with and the base for donate with donate my money to charity if i wear hair i would donate my money to charity number three if we away food for the poor no one hungry i have here two verbs in brackets so the first one give 
here should be here and the second one in this space okay so the first one give after if we should write it in past tense if uh, if we what's the past form from give so the past form here if we gave away food for the poor no one no one so here stay no one with right with and the base form of the verb stay stay would stay if we gave away food for the poor no one would stay hungry number four think about it if they people with disabilities they great things two verbs also support do so support here we should write it in the first space with if so here we should write the second form past tense if they supported people with disabilities they would write and the infinitive form do they would do great things number five the last one if they they a lot of people okay volunteer help two verbs two verbs here the first one volunteer we should write it in the past tense if they volunteered they would and the base form of the verb help would help a lot of people okay if they volunteered they would help a lot of people okay that's for our grammatical rule if conditional two thanks for listening and watching wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh